I filmed this video twice now, but of course my com computer can't save it. Spider-Man No Way Home is a cinematic masterpiece, and here's why. Reason one: villains. I can't say. I can't say. I wasn't hyped when the old villains were announced for Spider-Man No Way Home, but characters like Electro and the Lizard didn't excite me like the Sam Raimi villains did, but these characters, Electro and the Lizard, are my favorite characters in the film. Think about these characters' origins in the Andrew Garfield film. The Lizard is a big, not scary mon monster. CGI abomination. Oh no, he's in the school! Oh wait, no one's gonna get hurt because all uh, all the Lizard wants is Peter. In No Way Home, the Lizard is different. The Lizard is more monster than man. It's like when a vicious tiger gets loose in a zoo, but the but the people on the other side of the zoo have no clue. They they could die immediately. And that's exactly like my favorite scene in, in the film. The Daily Bugle is outside Happy's apartment. The lizard is escaping the, the truck, and they have no clue. That's not the only thing going wrong. Electro remembers what made him feel powerful. He doesn't want to lose that. Electro turns on him, on them. Sandman is is just someone who wants to help his daughter. Sandman is jaded. He he is tr tr he tr he doesn't trust anyone. Sandman turns against Peter. Green Goblin is pure evil. Peter thought he could become a good person, but after you, but after everything you learn, after everything you go through, you choose to do those bad things. That's true. That's true in movies and in the real world. Power or wealth could easily take you over, just like they did for Electro and Green Goblin. You might think you're doing the right thing, but you won't always do the right thing, just like Sandman. With great power comes great responsibility. Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben... Oh, sorry, I already read that. Reason 2. Peter in Homecoming... Oh, Peter. In Homecoming and Far From Boom, Peter has always had another hero to help him. Peter tries to have Doctor Strange help him, but he has to do something on his own. That's why everything goes wrong. It all builds up to Aunt May's death. Peter starts becoming a darker Spider-Man after that, much like Andrew Garfield. Eventually, Peter comes back to how he was before because of what Andrew said about the bad things he did. I wonder if Andrew went back to his world a better person after seeing Toby's hopefulness and Tom's goofiness. At the end of the film, Peter is alone. Peter is no longer relying on other heroes, and he doesn't have a fancy Stark Tech suit. Now Peter just is just a man who happened to get his powers. Peter is just an odd kid in spandex. Most character arcs start with some kid, and later later on they get all of the fancy stuff and fight huge threats, but Peter's arc in the, is in the exact opposite order. Toby is my favorite Spider-Man, but Tom might be the most complex with the best arc. Reason 3, the true villain. Doctor Strange is the true villain of this film. He should have listened to Wong... Strange didn't even get. St Strange didn't even get. Give the villains a chance. Sorry. Peter. Peter did. Peter, a 19 year old, is wiser than a 40 year old. Wanda is. Wanda in the end credit scene says it best. When I break the rules. It's bad, but when you break the rules, you're a hero. I think Doctor Strange doesn't grow and start an arc. Then he's going to become a villain. He always has been like this. For example, in Phase 3, he's a jerk. And Phase 3 was the first time he has been in the... It was the first time he was in the MCU. Reason 4. The soundtrack... The... 
The very first song in intro to Fake News describes the emotions of Peter perfectly. The creepy sounds, the louder drums, it all goes perfectly with the scene of everybody knowing Peter's biggest secret, being Spider-Man. The, the main theme is simply the best. It starts out sounding like the 60s cartoon intro, but then it gets, la- gets more dramatic. Then... We get to a part with more of a sneaky vibe, kind of like Tobey Maguire's theme. Honestly, I'm not qualified to be reviewing music. I mean, I play piano, guitar, and recorder, but I'm no George Harrison. I just know there are videos talking about the music better than me, so watch those videos after this one. This film is one of the best superhero films of all time, and the people who say that the MCU is not art and are just CGI-filled blockbusters haven't seen a Marvel movie. All of these movies have amazing messages and great character arcs. Spider-Man Homecoming, a kid who ends up with powers and needs to learn, but his teacher is far from perfect. Captain America the Winter Soldier. Two friends two friends from the past go their separate ways. They find each other again and they have very different views on life than the last time they saw each other. WandaVision. Someone with godlike powers has to go through something that hurts that hits us all hard. A death of someone close to you. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. In a world with superheroes and villains, people just blame the so-called bad guys of being bad people with bad intentions, but that's not always true. If you find yourself never seeing a Marvel movie or have never have only seen one, go on go on Disney Plus, buy the films for all I care. These two hours of your life. It will be spectacular and something most people will never forget. Um, my sister's singing in the shower, so I don't know if you can hear that, but the buzzing is probably louder. I don't know how to stop the buzzing. Oh my gosh, the buzzing. Ah, gosh. These videos are worse because of the buzzing. Uh, anyway, the re- so, the reason this video exists. Well, it, of course, got pushed back quite a bit because of my Wii video and other projects. You know, because this movie came out in December, you know, it's been months. Um, but when I saw the movie, it was one, one of the only movies that I just watched and I said, I need to make a review of that. I watched, for example, I watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tr- trilogy and I say, Oh, I should make a video off that. How about a, a ranking of the characters? I have only done this w- two times where I'm like, I need to make a movie. I mean, a video off of that movie. Tom and Jerry, that video got canceled. It was supposed to be, I'm pretty sure, like the third video on this channel. So, you know, it was canceled a while back. But I wanted to make a video on that because of how bad it was. But when I saw Spider Man No Way Home, I was like, I need to tell people my opinion. Sure, people are saying it's great and everything. It's getting a lot of praise. But I don't think people understand it like I do. Bye.